get started. YouTube channel. For those of you that are new, I do live makeovers every weeknight and tonight I am here with one of my favorite people. I'm here with Coral Barajas and I'm going to be focusing on her eyes tonight. I asked her if she had a preference on what we did for her makeup and she says she has slightly hooded eyes so she wanted me to make them look bigger and more dramatic. So yes. that is what we're going to do tonight. So, so we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So I'm going to start by putting a light shadow just right underneath her brow bone just to lift it. So we already did foundation on her and lipstick. I did a little bit of contouring, but I did not do under eye concealer. And I'm gonna to explain to you guys why I didn't do that yet as we get further along with the eye look. It's actually super, super helpful when you have hooded eyes if you want to lift them, make them look more open to do your concealer after because there's a couple tricks I'm gonna show you. So there's a couple things that I like to focus on with hooded eyes. I either do two shapes, I do kind of a dome rounded shape, which is what I'm gonna do on coral tonight, or I do a V and I extend it a little bit. So with hooded eyes, you want to bring the crease up higher and you want to widen the eye a little bit if they're smaller. So that's the two things we're gonna do tonight. So I usually on my channel use like really warm bronzy colors, but I'm gonna do more cool neutrals on coral today. It's gonna be super fun. So I'm gonna start with a big fluffy brush in a taupe color and just define her crease. This is called Wedge by MAC and lift it just a little bit. And Coral doesn't usually wear much eyeshadow, huh? No, I don't. I'm usually super plain when it comes to eyeshadow. That's why I need you, Julie. I need you in my life. <laughs> Teach me the way. No, you always look so pretty. But you don't need it. She has, so she has her eyeliner tattooed on and her eyebrows are microbladed. Yeah. And she has like I love that. amazing lashes. So you're good <laughs> to go. You do not need me, but this is going to be fun. Turn towards me. So there, I was telling Coral a little bit before we started, there's actually like two ways to lift hooded eyes. So one is to add more shadow like I'm going to do on her and lift the crease and strategically place darker colors to make the eyes look bigger. And the other is actually just to leave your lid like a flat light color and not wear much eyeshadow at all and just do a lot of lashes, like long lashes. And that's probably more the look Coral usually does. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which looks great. But then when I want to go out or something, I look the same as when I'm in the day. So that's where I'm like, I need more of a dramatic look when I go out. So yeah. that's why we're here. Yeah. So that's why it's fun. It's good to know how to play with it. You don't need to. So now I'm creating the dome shape. So I'm going in. This is ground brown, I believe. After we air this video, once we're all done, I'm going to link the products that we use on her before because these are like staple colors. I love these shadows. They look good on everybody. So I'm just carving out like a rounded dome shape just to lift her eyes a little bit. This is so fun, by the way. I am so excited. I'm excited for you to see it. I've literally never seen you with dramatic eyeshadow, and I'm so excited. How long does it usually take you to do your makeup in the morning? Oh, like five, ten minutes max. Perfect. Yeah, I think because I do have permanent eyeliner and brows, that it just makes it faster. I usually go over both of those to make them a little, little bit more yeah. pop or what. But yeah, that's awesome. Go ahead and close. The way to go though. Like you work, you're a mom. It's nice to have like a five minute routine, but then it's nice, like you said, to have like a date night look or like a go to yes. if you want to be yes. more dramatic and stuff. It's fun to know how to do that. And I'm going on a cruise this weekend and we have, you know, the elegant nights and I'm like, okay, I gotta watch this video a few times <laughs> to see what I gotta do for them. Yes. What are you gonna wear? Do you have your dress picked out? I do, I do. What I are have you gonna wear? just it's black and white, like kind of like a silvery, shimmery 
little cap sleeves to my knees. It'll be fun. So pretty. Well, this will be perfect for that because these are the neutrals, so they'll look good with silvers. That's really cute. And I did like a champagne color across your lid, like where I'm not putting the dark shadows, and that would look so good. Fun. I think you just need to come with me to redo this. No, <laughs> that's like a fabulous idea. I'm on board with that. Yes. I love cruises. Me too. They're so fun. They're way fun. I love all the food. Yeah. For sure. You know, and this time we're bringing our kids, so I think that'll be fun to put them in the kids club when we want to go do fun things, but then have family time when the other time. So it's like a perfect mix. Totally. I heard the kids club is good. Yes. I've taken some of my kids before and they loved it. They didn't even want to be with us. They wanted to be on the kids club the whole time. Right. <laughs> like, well, hey, we don't have our family. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. So I am, now that I've created that dome shape and established it, now I actually am bringing it out a little bit. So the main focus of this look is not the V, it's the dome. But I'm taking that wedge, that like medium lighter brown, and I am bringing it out in a V like this with this fluffy brush. And it does not have to be perfect because when I show you guys my little hooded eye trick at the end, we're going to clean it up. But I just want some darker color out here, but you'll notice I don't want it to be as dark as this because this is my actual shape. This is just a shadow, like giving an illusion of like a wider eye. All the tricks. I know, you got all the tricks, Julie. All the tricks. And that's really all makeup is, is like light and shadow, like highlighting, contouring, lifting, receding. Like it's all the tricks. It's all we're doing. It's amazing. It's crazy what you can do. It's so fun. You know, I like watching those, like seeing the pictures of dramatic before and afters. Me too. <laughs> of like Me extreme too. people. Yours are always <laughs> amazing <laughs> and great, but yeah, the extreme ones. You're like, wow, a highline yes. contour can do that for that person. <laughs> I have hope. <laughs> I love seeing those, yeah. but like that's not like I can do it and it's fun. I actually like love to do it, but it's not my style. Like. I don't know. I like my looks to be very wearable. I don't want to scare anybody. Yeah. I yeah. should do that once though on my <laughs> channel. That'd be so fun. Because I never usually like show people what I'm going to, I mean, I'll ask them if they like, if there's anything they don't want, but like when I show them on camera, their makeup, like it's, <laughs> it's a real reaction. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and at first when I started, I'm like, what if they don't like it? Because usually when I do a real client, yeah. It's it's all about them. Like I'm showing them in the mirror as they do. Right. We're talking preferences. We're right. talking what they usually do. But for this, it's like it's what I want. <laughs> so it's fun for so me. But I'm like, uh oh. But so far, everyone has loved it. So yeah, super good. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do a wing on hooded eyes, and this is awesome. This is a good trick. So I'm gonna take Q-tip. I'm gonna take my slur water, and I am gonna draw out like the track for my eyeliner. So we didn't oh. do her eyeliner, so I'm gonna add foundation to this anyway. So I'm gonna have her open her eyes and look forward and I'm just gonna clean up all the shadow and any foundation that's on there in like a straight little line. Usually you go to the tail of the brow, but I'm extending a little bit past yours, but you wanna lift the eye, you can see. So this creates kind of like an invisible line for me to lay down my liner so that you know where to put it. Because that's most people's problem. Like, they don't know how far up to tilt right. the wing. That's or like, so, yeah. what do you do with or the like wing? Or like, one wing is broken. <laughs> that's me. Yes. I'm always having a broken wing. <laughs> it's tough stuff. Why? We will see. The wing is actually pretty hard to do on camera because they can only turn you so far so that people can still see what I'm doing. So this is Tarte. This is their clay paint liner. And it's pretty nice because it's kind of like a gel, but it's a little bit runnier. So I'm gonna use this. It comes with a brush, but I like the MAC angled brush better. This is the 266. So I'm gonna dip it in this black. This is all so fun. I wish you could all be here <laughs> in this room with me because it's so cool to see all this. It is so fun. Look forward. Oh, okay. Gotta wipe it off. So you don't want too much on your brush. You need to be so careful. So this line is the very most important. I'm gonna have her look forward, and when okay. you do this on yourself, you want to have your eyes open, and you just go from the bottom and draw a nice little line, just a baby one. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, 
And if you extended your shadow far enough and then cleaned it up correctly, it's going to be exactly where you're going to do this line. Okay, so we're even. Perfect. So Yay. that's like my base. So that actually should be pretty easy to do. So you do that with your eyes open and then you can close or when you're doing it on yourself, you have to look down because if your eyes are closed, <laughs> you can't see what you're doing. There's a problem. <laughs> Go ahead and close. And with you, like with your liner being tattooed on, you won't have to add as much of this. Like, I mean, obviously you don't have to do liner at all, but if you wanted to, I kind of covered up your liner with the shadows. So if you didn't do that, you don't have to spend as much time on the liner. Perfect. That makes sense. Oh, totally. Because I think that's the thing with when you have your eyeliner permanent, then when you put shadows or foundation or concealer or anything over it, then it kind of washes it away. So you yes. have to relift it back up. It does. So that's kind of a, a pain. But um, I usually just put eyeliner over anyways. But I usually use just the liquid pen. Yeah. But I always want to learn how to do a brush. So... The liquid pen is super nice, actually. Like, that's what I use on myself. I don't use it on oh, clients because really? you can't really sanitize, like, the little tip, you know? Oh, true. And so I use, like, a brush and something you can squirt out. But the liquid pen, once you get good at it, it's really fast. Tell me more about having the liner because I am debating doing it. I feel like everyone I do their makeup on, they're like, tell me about eyeliner and yeah. microblading. So I love that I have my eyeliner because just no matter what, my eyes kind of pop. I have light hair and light eyes. And yeah. so I look like a little, so washed out. And so when I got the eyeliner, I actually never wore eyeliner in my life before I got my eyeliner tattooed really? on. Yeah. So... But I wanted to get my eyebrows because my eyebrows are so light that I wanted to get my eyebrows done. And the girl who was doing it was like, oh, you have to do eyeliner too. And I was like, no. I, I feel like I'm going with a gothic look when I do eyeliner. Oh, that's so funny. Because it's dramatic. Right. Really fair. Right. Open and look yeah. this way. Yeah. With just your eyes. I'm so sorry. Oh. Perfect. And you can keep talking. Oh, that's too hard. I know. I can't it is hard. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> That's Julie. too much to ask. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> look over I'm leaving. Me. I'm just getting the little, so I don't want like a thick line in here, but I do want to extend it a little bit because you're bringing the drama with this look. Look over there. I think with your eye shape day to day, I don't think I'd extend the liner this far, but for this look, yeah, we we're are going, going to. We're going it's all happening. Out. It is. Okay. Sorry. Continue. I'm oh, yeah. Your liner. No, but so then I got my eyeliner and it was so subtle and so great. And then I've gotten it thicker and thicker over the years as I touch up. And now my sister-in-law does it and she does an amazing job. Uh, and so I got my eyeliner or my eyebrows. First, I got it permanent, just permanent makeup. But then I, a few years ago, um, microblading just came out big. And I was like, okay, I've got to try this with the stroke, like, you know, little strokes is amazing. And it does, it looks so much more natural. And I love that. So I highly recommend the microblading. It looks great on you. Yours looks so, it looks very natural. Yes. Which I like. Like when you when you came to me with no makeup, I'm like, oh, she looks so perfect. Oh, whatever. But it doesn't look harsh. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you can have nothing. Right. On. Yeah. And then I usually do doll it up a little bit more and add more to it. But mostly because my makeup will smear onto them. So I have to <laughs> touch that up anyway. But yeah. I'll probably add, I think I'll probably add a little brow powder on you just because we're doing like a dramatic eye. So just to thicken perfect. up your brows a little bit. But Absolutely, you do not need to, unless you wanted to. So now, oh, yeah, you totally can. I'm adding the concealer underneath, so this kind of finishes it. And then I'm going to smudge some shadow underneath, and maybe add a little bit more on top, and then do some lashes. Oh, so fun. The lashes are the best part. I know, I'm excited. I just love them. And I think we're going to have more time on you today, so I might do individual lashes, because those are seriously amazing. They're so pretty. I'm never going to want to take them off. I know. I'm going like, to love them. <laughs> I'm going to go out now. <laughs> They're so pretty. Where can I go out on a Tuesday night? <laughs> One of my models that I did wanted to sleep in her makeup. Because I do it. I mean, so it's funny. night. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, all right. So I like sprayed her with spreading spray. Oh, that I didn't is ask her so how it held up. Funny. I'm like, don't sleep on your yeah, face. Like, right? sleep on your back. That's so funny. I think I read that um, Kim Kardashian does that, like, not all the time. She sleeps she's on her like, face? No, 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 like, oh. with makeup on. She's oh, like, she'll sometimes sleep. if I have to get up really early, 
That she is just like so does her makeup funny. at night and then That is to really bed. funny. <laughs> she yeah. Yeah, I want to recommend it. If you have everlasting stay makeup, I guess that. <laughs> it's not good for your skin, yeah. but you know, you got to do what you got to do. I guess. So I'm adding blush. I add blush after I do the concealer because I drag the concealer down That's a little good. bit, like kind of to highlight you. So if I had done the blush first, it would have been awkward. I would have covered it with concealer and had to do it again. So we kind of started with like a half, <laughs> a strange half face <laughs> done. So now that I have that, I'm going to add some highlighter because I love highlighter. Oh, so mm, fun. You to glow. I'm going to do... Oh, that's a pretty palette. Show yeah, that. Yeah, it's that's fun. That's really fun. So we're going to do Forever Young. It's like a cool purple. Oh, I like all of that. I know. I need it's to amazing. take all this with me. <laughs> I know. I'll pack you for the cruise. Please. I'll come over <laughs> and I'll, I'll pack your get ready bag. Yeah, and you have like a great skin texture too. So highlighter is amazing on you. Sometimes if people have like more texture, you want to be careful with the highlighter. Oh, you can still highlight, but this has like a strong sheen to it. So you wouldn't want, you'd want to use not a matte highlighter because then it's not a highlighter, but something like Hourglass has a really good one. We're subtle. I feel like when I highlight and contour, I look like a clown because I'm like, oh, I don't know, I put it in the wrong place. And so I'm like, no, that's supposed to be light. That's supposed to be dark. I don't know. It's, I struggle a bit. No, you always look perfect, but it's hard to know. I'll tell you the big, why I do your brows, I'll tell you like the okay. common faux pas with okay. contouring. Please. So usually people bring it too far. Oh, like they'll okay. drag their face down. So you usually okay. kind of stop right about there and you can oh, lift your cheeks a little bit with okay. it. Okay. Or that's the biggest one, or not blending it. Like sometimes what I'll do is after I do a cheek contour, I'll put like a highlighter right under it, like just some light powder, just so this doesn't look dark. Because then you don't gotcha. look like your face is falling right. down. That's who yeah. wants that. And then not blending the forehead is another one I see a lot. Oh, interesting. And the nose contours can go oh, yes. pretty wrong. <laughs> yes, I think so. I think because I always try to make mine look smaller. Like I try to do all the tutorials I watch. Yes. And I'm like, okay, that went backwards. <laughs> no, it looks good. I actually like love nose contouring, but I just feel like it looks so good in photos. But for day wear, you just have to be careful. Like I almost like nose highlighting better than too much contouring. Like what I'll do when I contour noses is I'll take like a... um like a much lighter shade of a contour than everywhere else on my face and do like a really subtle one. Gotcha. And then um, just mainly like highlight down it to kind of bring out that shape. I'm just filling in her brows and keeping her natural shape. She has more of a thin brow, which I like with her face shape. I feel like it keeps everything in balance. So I'm making sure not to disturb that. Can add a little bit more of a highlight into this brow. And I'm going in, this is the Anastasia Brow Palette. This is what I always use. They sell these little individual pans. So you pick like your color and you can buy just that. Fun. But since I do, obviously, many people Such a I need all the colors. But it's, I usually mix. Like I'm using the taupe on you because I want more of a cool, like you're kind of more of like an ashy mm -hmm. blonde. But I'm adding a tea teeny bit of the golden just to warm it up. That's another thing, like back to microblading that I noticed, is I feel like the colors they have now look way better. Like the old mm. eyebrow tattoos used to yes. be like blue, kind yes. of. Not on yes. everybody, but on yes. a lot of people. Have you noticed that? Oh, definitely. I think it's so true. I think it's come a long way. We should tag your sister-in-law in the comments. Oh, I totally the... will. That would be awesome. She's so good. She does look good. And she uses it, like, when I first got my eyeliner done, I didn't have, like, I just had a bare, like, this topical that barely numbed anything, and it would hurt so bad. Oh, but no. she uses, like, a really good numbing cream that you don't feel it. Oh, it's still good. a little awkward because it's right next to your eyeball, you know, yes. but it's still so doable. Like, it's, I don't even mind it. Before, oh, I was, like, ready to tap out. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I can't do this. I asked the lady. I'm like, have you ever had anyone just do one eye? Because I think I'm done. She's like, no, you're not. Get back in. I'm like, oh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I was really, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm too vain. I'm like, as long as it looks good. I know, right? Who cares? Pain is beauty. Beauty's pain. Yes. Whatever. I'm 
just gonna deepen up the shadow just a little bit because I want it to have more drama. Sometimes Perfect. when you get like the full face done, you can yeah. see how dark the eyes are gonna look. So whenever I wanna pack on more color, I use this like angled pencil brush and I'm gonna go in that same ground brown and probably mix it with a little bit of black actually. Do I look good? You look so pretty. <laughs> You're excited for the lashes. I know, I wanna see it all. It's gonna be amazing. Everyone else gets to see it before me. I know. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> it's a surprise. I'm so excited. I'll post corals before and after photos on my Facebook tonight or tomorrow morning so you guys can see how beautiful she is without makeup. Oh, Since we so started fun. with foundation. Oh, that's true. We totally did it on live. <laughs> Julie, did you always love doing makeup since you were young? That's a good Tell question. I think I liked doing hair first. Like I went okay. to cosmetology school and did hair. And then I like, I kind of just evolved into loving makeup. I just love like the transformation. Like I yeah. love like, just cause I think everyone's so pretty. Like I like, you know, enhancing that in different ways. So makeup's fun. But I loved hair. Like my, <laughs> I was so excited to have a sister. I have four, five brothers. And it was like a lot before I got a sister. And so I would dress my brothers up like girls, and I would curl their hair like, my brother, one of my brothers has, like, the world's most perfect hair. He had, like, this thick, lush head of hair. Oh, Like, man. auburn, so I'd curl it. Like, it, I You're remember so curling funny. it with a tiny curling iron for, like, three hours. And how and old he was he? Me, he was, like, three, and he would sit oh, that there. that is so funny. So I would, like, to give a shout-out to him and thank him for, like, <laughs> that is so cute. practice on him. Because of you. <laughs> all because of him. I won't name him in case that's embarrassing. That is so he funny. He was the best. He just has amazing hair. That's my, awesome. My sister does too. Yeah, your sister. She has good hair. hair. So do you though. Oh, like, thank it just you. is in your, in your mom, everybody. <laughs> Shout Both out the to the whole fam. Shout out to the Ryan fam <laughs> for passing <laughs> on the good hair jeans. Okay, go ahead and open. Look down a teeny bit. Good. This is weird. I'm just gonna squeeze soft. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I've never had someone else do this. I have a little mascara. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. You did good. So Thanks. weird when someone else does it. So weird. Okay. So I'm gonna do. Let's see. I'm gonna do individual lashes on you really quick. And then we're done. So fun. These are my favorite. They take longer than a strip. You can totally do them on yourself. Um, you just need a little more time. So I'm going to use three different sizes. We're going to start, these are IMMO brand, and we're going to start with number one. I have number one, two, and five. So one is the shortest. We're going to do that right in the middle, and I'm just going to taper them. So like I did the dome shape with the shadows today, that round shape, I'm going to follow that with the lashes. Look forward. And you can look down, you can blink if you need to, but try not to stay closed so you don't get oh, okay. stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. That would not be fun. Look at me. Good. So what I do with these is I just lay them down, like, probably like two millimeters apart, just in a perfect even little row, and I switch eye to eye so the glue can dry, and then I'm going to go back and fill in all those tiny little holes with, like, another lash. Brilliant. It's amazing. So, so fun. All I'm can you see do... this? <laughs> <laughs> they can. We're in HD, guys. You oh, can see everything man. we're doing. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You can see more than like our eyeballs can see. It's actually wow. amazing. Look down. So I'm just popping them on. Do you want me to look more at you? No, you're good. You can okay. Actually, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Can we still see in the camera? Good. Okay, look down. So the trick is just to get both eyes even, and these are actually like fairly forgiving. If you're doing like close-up photography, open, look at me. If you're doing close-up photography, they're not forgiving. <laughs> you have to get them perfect, or probably for this camera, HD camera, they're not forgiving. But if you wanted to wear these, like because you have such thick, long lashes, look down. And like, let's say you want to pop these in for your cruise or something, they mm -hmm. are pretty forgiving as long as you get them pretty close to the base and stuff like that. How many do you usually use on one eye? A ton. I should count. Because <laughs> I pack them in. Yeah. But that's like the good thing about them too. Like let's say you curl your lashes, look down a little more. 
and you do all your layers of mascara and you have these like lovely lashes, you don't have to do as many as I'm going to do. Like I want drama right now for yes. you, but you can add in a thin layer. They don't have to be touching and it just gives it like an extra little kick, you know? So how long will these last? Like if I wash my face right now, they'll all come they'll off. They'll come off. Yeah. So these, they're little flares, like they're little clusters. So they're only meant for like day wear. Like if you've ever gone and got lash extensions uh-huh. like the good kind are um like one hair like they put on one hair yeah. at a time and those look down a little more those do not damage your lashes at all but these because they're like a little v i don't know if the camera gotcha. can see i'll hold it up by your eye they're like a little v and so it would kind of tug at your lashes if you were to leave them on gotcha permanently that's so fine. i might just keep it on tonight <laughs> you might and that's fine <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. Look down. So these are the number fives. They're number fives for the longest. So this is I'm in a brand, and I really, really like the way they look. Like I haven't found any others that are tapered like this and have, I don't know, that like adds the punch to the look. Our Dell has them that are really awesome. I like they're not free flares. They're probably the easiest to apply. Like if you're doing them on yourself, I would probably go with our Dell. And I will link both below tonight as well. Look up at me. So as I do this, I'm just like looking at my lash, <laughs> making sure it looks so good. And then I'll tape around. So I want the longest ones to be right in the middle and then to extend out a little bit wider. So that's as far as I'm going to go there. And then I'm going to add the twos to connect the ones and the twos. But I'm going to go over, look down for me. I'm going to go over to the other eye and make sure they're even before before I fill that in so that I know where I stopped. Because like I said, you want them to be <laughs> even is the trick. Look down. So I'm actually going to start like in the middle where I did on the other side. Sorry, I forget to turn you sometimes. It's way easier on me if I do. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I'm your puppet. Whatever you want. I'll just it. move. <laughs> <laughs> and it helps to put these in at like an angle, like coming okay. down instead of flat. Because gotcha. they'll stand up a little bit taller. And you basically are like pressing them right against the base, but you more want them to be sitting on your lashes than sitting on your skin. And you want to make sure that your glue stays nice and wet. Because if your glue gets too tacky, they're not going to stick well. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, I have to tell you this funny story. Okay, I can't wait. <laughs> so we're doing family pictures, and um, I didn't have any glue. Oh, you're going to die. Oh this should gosh. not be. I shouldn't say this, but you I guess should. I'm already started. You already started. I committed. <laughs> Look down. So I didn't have anything to, like, put them on. So I kid you not, I used Elmer's glue. Oh, my gosh. Is that like, okay, so funny, right? <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. I was just desperate at the moment, so I did just like you're doing, trying to make a little strip. So I put oh them on. Oh, gosh. And halfway through my shoot, look down. I look at, um, in the mirror, and yeah. I'm missing half, I'm missing oh, a whole no. eye. Oh, it didn't stick. It didn't stick. Oh, Don't gosh. use Elmer's glue, Don't you guys. Don't use Elmer's glue. <laughs> I'll tell you everything not to do. <laughs> Julie so here funny. will tell you everything to do. <laughs> Go ahead and look down. Yeah, I don't recommend using Elmer's glue for the eye area, but in your defense, isn't <laughs> Elmer's glue supposed to be like pretty dang non-toxic? Because it's around children and stuff. Like, cause don't be put so. it in like many things that like sometimes kids eat and they're not supposed to. I feel like I probably <laughs> ate it when I was little. Down. Yeah, I think you're you're clearly fine, so it's good. But good to know, Elmer's glue does it. It's not gonna fix. Yeah. Fix the. Yeah, I don't know in a pinch. I don't think there is, like, a glue substitute. Yeah. Like, you can't MacGyver that. That's sad. So funny. Sometimes, like, you know when you pull a new strip, like, new lashes out of a uh-huh. package, and they kind of are a little sticky? That's yeah. probably the only thing you can yeah. do. Huh? Go ahead and look down. Is like, just use that stick. That's kind of like how I see if they so look good funny. on people. I'll stick it on. Yeah. That's way funny, Coral. I'm glad you shared that story. Thank you. Thanks. Good. I made my night. <laughs> Have you ever tried the magnetic ones that I see all these videos for? <laughs> no, I've never tried them because they just look like aggressive. Like, you know, in the yeah. videos when they snap and it's like, boom, I'm like, that's someone's eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I like to be gentle. That's funny. 
go to Mukden. Have you tried him? Somebody, no. I can't remember who it was, but somebody told me that, like, their grandma or somebody was going to order them. Oh, their grandma. That's yeah. cute. <laughs> cool grandma. Yeah. Mukden. And I want to know. If any of you have tried them, I would love to know. Comment Please below. Comment. I want to know. Because my, my thought on them is that they just wouldn't work well. Go ahead and look down. Like, it looks like they're really hard to get to the base. Like, if you ever watch those Facebook videos about them, like, they look good until you pause it or something, and then you're like, wait, it's, like, way far away from their lash line. It looks uh, like a floating lash, you know? Interesting. And I also wonder if you put on mascara first, if they'd look weird and goopy. Look down a little more. But I don't know. I haven't tried them. I'd love to know. We'll see. If we stop seeing advertising for them, we'll know it right. didn't work because, like, no one's fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how you know. Does it stand the test of yeah. time? That's funny. Like, I always think of, like, remember when, like, ads seen on TV was so big? Oh, yes. And they were totally. so good. It's like, yeah. I need that. I, I just know. do. Like, I am such a is. sucker. I am such a it. sucker. What's the weirdest thing you've ever bought? Oh, shoot. I'd have to think about this. Do you have one? trying to think I don't because I, I feel like it was when I was like too young to buy stuff uh, okay on tv but I definitely wanted everything yeah <laughs> want it my grandma would always buy like the exercise like the contractions oh, yeah. and stuff yeah. like that they used to always have like those ab roller yes. and different things like that going on yes look at me Okay, so she has her first layer on. They look amazing. Now I'm going to fill it in. Fill in wow. all the way. So you could, you could be done with this layer, and that could be enough for you. But we're going for the drama. So we're going all one. out tonight. We're doing tonight one. is going to be awesome. Go ahead and look down. And we are going to add, after we're done with this, we are going to add a layer of mascara just to darken up her own lashes. Because I like the base to be very, very black. Yes, I agree. So we're going to add more. So I'm just going in. The second layer is actually like the very easiest. Look down a little more because you already have your base and you can see exactly where to put them. Like if you've spaced them out correctly, you just pop it right in between all the lashes and the lashes on there you've already put on correctly. So they're sticking up enough. Look down a little more, not too much. And then these just lay right on top. So second layer is like easy peasy. Look at me. Yeah, like way easier. One more in here. So these come like two different rows, like there's a row of thick and a row of thin. Go ahead and look down. So I'm doing all the thick ones because I love them. Okay, it looks amazing. You're going to love these. So fun. I hope, but why wouldn't you? Oh, why not? <laughs> They're lashes. Why not? <laughs> okay, go ahead and look down. And I'm going to do, I still have to fill them with the twos, but I'm going to take the rest of my fives on the side too. And like I said, it's mostly in the middle. So after I'm done, I'll show you. I'll point out where I stopped with each um, each size. And you don't have to be complicated like me. Like if you, Coral, or you guys out there are doing this on yourself, like just do two sizes or just do one size. Like don't stress yourself out. You can practice on your hands too. Like sometimes oh, that's a good idea. Like if you want to practice like yeah. how far apart to put them. And that works really now, good. Can you reuse them? Um, so you probably could. They're a little bit harder to, like, pull off and clean because you have to take them off each one by one and peel the little yeah. glue off the bottom. So I never have on myself. I don't use them on myself a ton. I definitely wouldn't, like, reuse them on clients. But um, you probably could, but they're not very expensive. I think it's, like, $4 for a little tray of it. So when would you choose to do this versus the other? Like, if you're doing wedding? Look down. Yes, so like for me, if I have a bride, I do them for weddings a lot. Like if I have a okay. bride that I want drama on, but I don't want to go like a really, really, really thick heavy lash, yeah. these all the time. Like I definitely, these are my go-to. That's so cool. Because they just look, like I don't know what it is. I think because you do them one by one and you can mm -hmm. create the shape. Yeah. And so they just look better than a strip to me. Go ahead and look down. Look up actually, I want to make sure we're... Look down, good. Looking so good. Okay, I just have to fill in with my twos. They do like the Ardell ones that I was telling you about. Look a little more towards me and then down, good. 
that are easier to put in. They come like in one package. You have like your small, medium, large. So oh, you don't that's have to like nice. keep yeah. switching trays. I haven't found, I just use them the way they come, but there's probably like a way for me to do it where I can organize them the way I like. <laughs> that would be a little That's faster. Good. should keep this container or something. Let's do it. Cool, and now I'm going to go on the inside. So I like the middle and the outer corner to be thick. But as I get in closer to the inside of her eyes, usually like naturally our lashes thin out, so I sort of follow that with these. And I'm not doubling them up quite as thick or going quite as long. Let's do it. Okay, that's done. So pretty. I love. So that is pretty much done other than the mascara. And then I'm going to smoke out her bottom liner a little bit too. So that will be so pretty. Smoke down. And just to remember, like I'm kind of bouncing around with my sizes and bouncing back and forth between the eyes. But if you're doing this on yourself, it's kind of harder to see what you're doing. So like be very symmetrical. Like do one on one eye, one on the other. Like have a pattern that you stick to. That's good. Makes it easier for sure. But like I said, they're actually very forgiving. Another thing you can do if you want to be like super extra and fancy is put on like a thin strip lash and then put these on over top just like oh, that's where you good. want them. Yeah. And that's like so easy. Like you can't yeah. mess that up. That's a really good idea. Pretty good. Let's do them. Yeah, and that's fun. Sometimes I'll do that for photo shoots where you don't have like as much time as on a bride, but I want it to look a little different. Or like you get to know your own eyes. If you're like, I always need it longer, like right there, I need a longer lash to make my eyes look open. You could just always pop in like two of these and you're good. Let's do them. Got me. So pretty, awesome. That made like a huge difference. Like your eyes are like so open and beautiful. I love them. I can't wait to see. I can't wait for you to see too. So I'm gonna take my same angled brush Look up for me. Just gonna see if there's any shadow fall. And I'm just gonna smoke out her bottom line. So she has the the liner tattooed on the bottom, which I actually love because I don't have to put any liner down there and I'm barely gonna have to do any shadow. I'm just gonna smoke it out a little bit with that same wedge color look up. Just to diffuse it a little bit, because I want this whole look to be very soft and diffused, and I don't want a harsh line, so I'm just dragging some shadow underneath. And sometimes this can make, like, just this brings a ton of drama to the eyes. And a lot of people don't do this. Like, they'll do bottom liner or nothing. So this is a fun I know. I always wonder look. about smoking it out. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. And I love the shadow. It's a good way. You know, it's actually, like, a super good way for hooded eyes, too, to smoke out the bottom. Because sometimes you can't, like when your eyes are open, you can't really see the shadow you've done, but you can always see the shadow underneath. So yeah, that's it's a so good, true. <laughs> good little so tip. True. Okay, let's add our mascara. I'm gonna get my disposable brush. We're gonna use Too Faced. Oh, I love that one. one. It's a good yeah, one. Yeah, it's huh? a good one. Me and Coral both got these. Sephora yeah. sells like the little travel sizes. Oh yeah. Like a trial. Pack. I didn't even know about them until you told me. I'm like, <laughs> that is so fun. It is the best. So it's yeah. like their best selling mascaras. It's five of them. Yeah. Look down, and then you get to try all of them, and then you bring in your little package and can get any full size one for free. I know that's the coolest part ever. You get a whole size, like regular size for free. I love it. What show are you going to get? Have you decided? I don't know. I really love this one. I like this one too. But I, I wondered if it was with the brush, but you're using a different brush. so. Yeah, I'm using a different brush just because I can't use like right. that brush on everybody, but the brush makes a huge difference. Does it? Yeah. Like I really like the one, the other one that came in the set. I think it's Tarte. But I hate that it has like a ball on the end of the brush. Oh, yeah. Me, that I don't is like weird. it because yeah. my eyes are small. I'm like, yeah. it's just going to poke yeah. me. It's not going to work. Oh, I also like the Mark, I'm going to say it wrong, Mark Jacobs. Good. Look at him. Is that yeah. something? Yes. That's Look, is that, is that <laughs> somebody? Right. That one's good, too. They're all good. I think I've tried the Mark Jacobs, the Tarte, and the Too Faced. I haven't tried, is it Defenicils, the Lancome? Yeah, yeah, I you got it. You're so good. <laughs> I might be saying it wrong. 
All right, Coral. Oh my How gosh. How exciting. You look so pretty. This is definitely more makeup than I've ever seen you wear, but it was fun. <laughs> so fun. You got it. When you're here, you yeah. know, you got to go all out. Oh, oh. You're in my chair. You got one little dot of mascara. One sec. I'm gonna hand you the mirror. Do -do -do. Yay! Drum roll! <laughs> Ta da! Oh, so fun. You look so pretty. <gasps> that is crazy fun! Do As I'm blocking the this, sorry, <laughs> camera. Sorry, <laughs> you guys. It's all about me here. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> oh, that is so amazing. This is like <laughs> my dream. I always oh. wanted to know what I would look like. Just. <laughs> With the pop, know. with the and pop in the eye. That is so anytime. fun. Look at those lashes. That looks crazy amazing. It's all about the lashes. I wish wow. I could buy that in a strip. That and that eyeshadow and the wings, <laughs> the brows. Wow. Yay. That's amazing. You look yeah. beautiful. Thanks for being my mom. Oh, it's so fun. And thank you guys for watching. It was I know. so fun. So fun. Make sure you're subscribed. Come back tomorrow yes. night. Come back every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday. I'm out of order. 7.30 <laughs> Pacific Standard Time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah.